Hey guys, it's another Tuesday. Uh, maybe this is just going to be a Tuesday thing. I don't know. It's what it's looking like. Um, my Mondays lately have just been all over the place. So anyway, here we are. We're number, this is episode five of my 52 things I think I know. And uh, today's is uh, there are no boring things, only bored people. Now, I was going to say the, the only boring people, uh, <laughs> but that's a, it's kind of a judgment. So I'm not, I, I, I changed that. I, I think it's, people aren't boring because then that would be a boring thing, right? <laughs> there are no boring people either, <clears throat> only bored people. So uh, when you're bored, right, um, it is because you think you're bored. Right? It's not because what you're doing or looking at or experiencing is actually boring, right? It's not. Because we, when we say something's boring, it's a judgment on the thing or the event or the person. <laughs> um, but in reality, this is not, it's, if you dug deeper into that thing, person or event, you'd find it infinitely fascinating. Um, and so there, there are no such thing as boring things. I, I use it all the time. I say, oh, this is really boring. But uh, I use it less and less these days. I, I, I say that very few times. I, do I catch myself saying that anymore? Because you're really not. <laughs> it means I'm not particularly interested in whatever it is that's happening at the moment because my mind is elsewhere, right? And so I'm not focused on the now. I'm focused on somewhere else and some other place and some other time, either in the past or the future, instead of really focusing on what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> now, the cure for boredom, right, and, and, and Duke, my stepson, uh, he used to every once in a while say he was bored. Uh, then I'd give him chores to do, and then he wasn't bored anymore. <laughs> because that's what my mom would do. Uh, hey, mom. Um, <laughs> my mom. We didn't say oh, I'm bored around my mother too much because she would give you some work to do, and then you weren't bored anymore. Uh, <laughs> you were suffering. So uh, that's one way to cure boredom. <laughs> The other way is to realize that if if you're feeling bored, right, it's because your why isn't big enough normally. So why you're doing whatever it is you're doing isn't big enough to make what you're doing actually interesting. Because you what you do is you feel like it's not really all that important, ergo it's boring. Uh, but if you understand the over, if, if you have a very big why for whatever, for everything you do, right? If it's for, you know, the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, I want my kids to have a better life or I want to make my neighborhood a better place or the world a better place or whatever. If your why is big enough, and my why is to bring about the end of fear itself everywhere really huge why. So whenever I'm doing something, there are things that I do that I don't particularly like to do uh, because I can't afford to outsource it at the time or whatever. Uh, so, you know, technical stuff and all that kind of stuff. I, I hate doing it. I don't like doing it. <laughs> uh, I don't find it boring. Sometimes I find it tedious. Uh, but my why is big enough that I do it anyway because... Uh, what I want to accomplish in my life is so big that everything's actually quite fascinating if I stop long enough to think about it. Now, there are times when I'm like, oh, this is really boring or this is really tedious and I hate it. Uh, but those are judgments not connected to my why. Now, if I really think about why I'm doing it, then I go, okay. This is important. I may not like doing this particular thing, but it's not boring. It's challenging because I don't really like to do it, 
but it's necessary in order for me to get from where I am to where I want to be. And so it's not boring. Um, so if you're, if you find yourself bored, choose a bigger why. Now we might talk about this more in another one or something. Um, your purpose, right? If you have a, a purpose for your life, you know, really, and, and make it as big as you can. I mean, it doesn't have to be to save the world or whatever. But the larger it is, the less likely you're ever going to be bored. Because there's always something to do. And even what you're doing currently is probably part of that why. Alright, that's enough for this week. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Probably on Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> so, take it easy till then. And keep on going.